Hello friends, I am Ankit and welcome to my channel. I am here with my daily predictions and analysis for gold, US 100 and Dow Jones. In this analysis, with the help of candlestick charts and indicators, we are going to look into the trading targets for the day, the range for the day and what can be expected when the cash market in US opens. So let's start the day with gold first. Also those who are new to the channel, don't forget to like, share, subscribe and comment and don't forget to press the bell icon so that you can stay tuned with the latest analysis and let's start the day with gold now. Now this is the 4 hour charts for gold and on the 4 hour charts for gold it appears that it is trading in bearish zone but it has got the support at 17, uh, 1970 intact and with the support at 1970 if it breaks this time 1970 zone definitely you can expect it to drop sharply again towards 1960 which is going to be a stronger support and then 1950 these two levels are going to be the backbone for uh, gold now it is it appears that probably we might see a little drop if it goes continuously beyond see this is the support zone at 1970-1975 previously there was a gap now it is trying to fill it it is trying to trade below these levels so once it drops below 1970 probably we can expect a further sharp drop towards 1960 levels it can drop towards 1960 we have to be very cautious here and yes breaking 1970 down the lane you can expect it to drop sharply uh, and this is just on the four hour charts looking at the four hour charts also we must not forget that it is uh it was overbought now trying to enter into oversold region it is trading macd is still on the sell side and if you look at the rsi the rsi is trading at the bottom there and look at the three hour charts on the three hour charts you will find that See, similarly on the 3R chart, it appears that till the time it remains above 1980, this time probably we may see a good drop there. So again, the level, the resistance level at 1980, uh, on the downside, the support level was 1980. Now it will become the resistance for any upward move. So if you see it trading above 1980, you can again expect it to hit back at 1990-1995 zone. Now because here is the support, I will be watchful of this 1970 levels. If it breaks this, definitely it is going to hit 1960-1950 levels. So also on the 3 hour charts, one must not forget that it is trading near to oversold levels, looking back to converge and probably looking back upwards and hence can reverse from here. So we have to be a little bit cautious. Any move above 1980, yes there only you can go long. Then the target is towards 1919 plus plus, else it is looking towards 1960-1950 uh, zone. And stock I stick and MACD is still on sell side on the 2 hour charts, on the hourly charts if you see. Similarly, it traded in this zone, there is a resistance available, failed to break this zone and it is broken on the downside now. You can see, see this is clearly the roof available and it is trying to form the wall. Possibly it may try to hit 1960-1950 levels if it breaks below 1970 then and then only. Look at the daily charts. On the daily charts, see on the daily charts what can best be expected is somewhere here at 1965 there is another support and it might touch this 1965 zone and bounce back. This is one probability only long is about 2000. Don't go long before 2000 levels. From 1965 levels, how it behaves will be watchful. Below 1965, definitely it is going to hit 1960-1950 zone. So yes, uh, one can remain short below 1970, one can expect it to drop. And yes, it will get the support at 1965 before it tries to bounce back. So now the range has become wide. Below 1960, definitely there will be a good fall. So 1965. Yes, there will be support and then 1960 will come. Below 1960, there will be a good fall towards 1950 and 1947 levels. On the flip side, it can try to trade it within this range that is 1965 to 2009 uh, levels or 1995 levels. Any long entry, as I said in the morning analysis also, any long entry is recommended beyond, beyond 2000 levels also. Also, one can try to initiate a buy at 60, 1965. Rather, once it hits 1965 and again you see it trading above 1970, I will recommend you to go long at those levels. So, because 1970 first, it has to break 1970. If it fails to do so, then yes, it might bounce back or again. Also, on the daily chart, the stochastic is almost trying to hit oversold levels. And the MACD is trying to converge and cross over towards sell side. Possibly with the drop today, it may try to enter into sell zone. So considering this, let me give you the trading levels for the day. 
so here is this uh 1969.5 any level below 1969.5 you can go short for 1965 1960 1951 so i'll expect at max 1965 should give it a very strong support for any downward move this level at 1965 from here it can definitely try to bounce back so what can you can do if you see it bouncing back from 1965 you can take a long entry at 1970 1971 zone and then you can again expect it to rise till towards 1980 which is a strong support then 1991 and 1995 levels now on the flip side if you see it trading above 1981 you can take a long entry for 1987 and 1991 here it can get a little resistance and 1995 below this definitely 2000 levels will come into picture and it will fly off sky is the limit on the upside it can try to hit 2020 levels so we have to be cautious here and i think this zone at 1970 is going to be a good support let's see if it breaks but yes we can again expect it to bounce back from 1965 if it fails to do so then uh, it is bearish and it is going to drop heavily on the downside towards 1960 1951 levels and below that also it is possible so take your positions accordingly now let's have a look at us 100 now look at the daily charts for us 100 first observation is higher lows second observation is that if you consider this as parallel probably it may, it has still got the room to achieve 13 950 levels which may provide a little resistance the tail is available the body is green and it can continue to green also see the previous body which is a very strong and large body from almost forming almost 500 points or 600 points of move and here also you can expect that see it is it is started from 13400 so if you continue to count from here probably 14000 levels 13970 can be achieved but let's see whether it can continue with that or not let me turn on the indicator indicators also here along with this so you can see the stock isk is trying to get into overbought position and macd is trying to it has crossed over in a buy side on the daily chart that is important for us because macd going on buy side it may try to take some time to converge on a 4 hour chart it is overbought but yes this candle still it can sustain before it tries to because see the variance here is uh, far away and hence the time it takes to for the variance to reach there probably it may achieve a high before it tries to drop on the charts here on the 4 hour charts you will find that definitely there is a support now at around 13600 levels only breaking 13600 we can expect it to trade bearish also there is a support at around 13770 this is the pivot level so in between 13770 and 13600 it might get a little resistance but yes breaking 13770 you can try to go short at the same time see at the same time one must not forget this is second green candle one green candle this is second green candle and a strong breakout candle but with a larger body so it may try to give you a third green candle with a smaller body taking it towards 13950 13970 and 14000 levels and try to close at around 13900 before uh, it closes this chart on a 4 hour chart stock isk is nearly overbought now let's have a look at the 3 hour charts on the 3 hour chart there is a support at 13600 we have seen that and if it continues to drop it can again come back till towards 13 700 level so 13700 if it drops below 13770 probably you can expect it to come back to 13700 and 13670 levels and from there i'll be watchful if it continues to drop or rise any long entry is recommended below beyond 13850 below beyond 13850 definitely you can go long for 13950 13970 or 14000 levels on the downside it can try to below 13770 it can again try to come back till towards 13700 and 640 levels which is going to be stronger support for nasdaq 100 for today look at the dpo is in green 3 hr charts are overbought now and macd are still divergent and on a buy side look at the 2 hr charts overbought and yes on the 2 hr charts i expect probably see higher lows now the support at 13700 i think it should not be taken if it takes breaks below 13700 then only i will consider this as bearish 13650 and 13600 going to be stronger support on the downside also on the upside on the 2 hr chart it is the bollinger bands which might give it a little resistance at 13850 levels breaking this 13850 probably it may try to hit for 13950 and 14000 levels beyond that sky is the limit 
on the early charts also after such a formation probably see after this is it is given a breakout so if it trades beyond 13850 probably you can continue you can expect it to continue with further green candles on the upside and taking it towards 14000 levels close to 14000 levels and breaking 13770 here also remember on the early charts it is trading outside the bollinger bands and hence we can expect that it can try to come back or fall back in the bollinger bands that is why i say breaking below 13770 you can expect it to come back till towards 13700 which is going to be a stronger support and then uh, 6 13670 levels below that definitely it will break strongly so considering this let me give you the trading levels for the day so you can take a long entry at 13855 beyond that 13920 and 13970 will definitely be achieved if it breaks 13970 probably we will see 14038 on the charts today itself and in fact beyond this 14100 will come into picture on the downside if it breaks 13770 rather i will say 13750 if it breaks 13750 you can go short there you can again expect it to hit 13700 13670 and 13640 till here it has got a stronger support and from here any point of time if you see it dropping here it can again bounce back from here to 3900 or from the upside it can again drop both ways it is possible i think largely it is it has seen a good rise probably it can try to confine itself within this rise and below 13640 it will again try to hit 13550 and 13500 here it has got the strongest support for the day probably beyond that is is the limit on the downside so take your positions accordingly i think it might still show something but uh, possibly looking forward to a rise from here beyond 13850 it can try to hit 3970 14000 levels if it trades above 3850 and yes uh, till the time it remains above 13650 700 probably you can you can expect it to continue the rise else it may see Uh, it may show a good break on the downside so take your positions accordingly now let's have a look at us 30 now look at us 30 this is the early chart for us 30 and it has covered completed this rise till here and now for uh, achieving this high here probably now trading at the resistance there now in between this zone i'll be watchful if it continues to trade beyond here that is at around 33 600 700 zone if it breaks this definitely it will rise else we may else we can expect it to drop a little on the downside how far it could go see it may try to form a pole and flag formation where either like this or like this either ways it can try to form on the early charts and hence probably 33400 levels can be expected if it continues to drop below 33 500 then probably you can expect it to come back to 33 400 levels also look at the early charts it has got its support at 33 400 breaking which we can expect that probably it is trading weak there let me see the indicators also also on the two hour charts you will find that there is a strong support now at around 33 200 and 33 400 zone so these two levels i will be watchful any break below 33 400 will try to take it towards so first 33400 is the support and breaking 33400 you can expect 33300 and 200 zone so this zone is very important for the day breaking 33200 definitely it will break strongly on the upside if you see it trading above 33600 uh, 620 you can expect 33700 and beyond that definitely it will fly on the upside towards 33800 levels near to overbought in the two hour charts macd lines are wide divergent and strong bullish indication and on the three hour charts the story is largely same and you you see here 33200 is a very strong support 33400 also in between 33400 and 200 it may try to come back again once before it tries to rise 33600 is a good resistance beyond that it will try to hit 33700 800 and in fact this time it can rise strongly on the upside on the 3 hour chart it is overbought hence need to break macd lines are still wide divergent and it's still on the buy side look at the four chart stochastic overbought macd is still on buy dpo is in green now look at the four hour charts on the four hour charts you'll find see after such retracement higher lows and with this as support at around 33100 for the day it has tried to give it a stronger breakout but possibly the high for the day i think it has been done 
or else if it continues to rise it may try to hit 33800 level so breaking 33600 you can again expect it to rise i think 33800 definitely may be achieved this is going to be the high for the day and from there it can retrace back again towards 33400 500 drone closing the week at around 33400 500 levels this is my expectation overbought is a call on stochastic and MACD. look at the daily charts on the daily charts couple of observations here now see it has got its resistance from this uh, median channel there and a 50 period moving average at around 33600 so breaking 33600 you can expect 33700 to provide a resistance else it may try to hit 33800 which is going to be stronger resistance now see here from 32600 rather 32700 to 33200 250 almost 700 600 to 700 points of move and if you see the body today 33200 to 33600 probably 33700 800 probably it may try to achieve before trying to close with a drop this is my expectation and yes on the MACD it is stochastic it is looking upwards MACD has just crossed over on the bullish side and it is trading in a buy zone so considering all this let me give you the trading levels for the day so buy at 33618 the target is 33700 and 33740 33800 now i think 33800 definitely should be a very strong resistance for the day any move beyond 33800 will again take it towards 33910 and 34 K levels beyond that sky is the limit these are markets anything is possible I don't expect that uh, it may go beyond 33800 but these are markets anything is possible you can take a long entry at 33610 620 levels or 618 levels as I said on the downside if you see it trading below 33480 you can take a short entry for 33440 now see here till here it has got a stronger support breaking this it will directly line towards 33300 33200 this is the strongest support for the day breaking this we are bearish and it is going to drop heavily towards 33k and below levels so take your positions accordingly i think on the upside 33800 on the downside 33400 and 33200 should provide a stronger support for any downward move so this is all from my side Join my telegram channel if you have any trading or trading related queries you can reach out to me via email or telegram and you can also be part of my premium membership group and definitely benefit or profit from the directions provided. Reach out to me uh, the channel and descriptions and the email IDs are mentioned in the description part. Don't forget to like share subscribe and comment friends and don't forget to press the bell icon. Thank you very much have a great profitable trading day. Thank you.